It could be a game changer for Washington State. The world's first nuclear fusion power plant is set to be built in central Washington. Construction is underway in Chelan County. To learn more about this project, we're joined by the CEO of Helion Energies, David Kirtley. Thank you for joining us tonight, David. Thank you for having me. So what is fusion energy and how will it work at this particular facility? Yes, this is very exciting. So this is the world's first fusion power plant uh, that we're building right now in Malaga, Washington. So fusion energy is the same process that happens in the sun, where you take lightweight common isotopes of hydrogen and helium, and then at high temperatures and pressures, you combine them and release a tremendous amount of energy. This is not nuclear power as you're used to thinking about, um, but fusion energy, something that uh, we've been studying for a very long time, and, if, and, and we believe this will be the first power plant to harness that for electricity. Well, we've seen plenty of reports with concerns surrounding the current power grid's ability to support the AI and tech boom. Will this help? Yeah, that's our goal. So uh, this fusion power plant is, is part of an agreement with Microsoft, a power purchase agreement we signed with them in 2013 to provide power by 2028. And so this power plant provides 50 megawatts, that's about 40,000 homes or part of a, a, a data center and plugs right into the grid in Chelan PUD. So speaking of, why Chelan County? Can you tell us about your current partnerships to make all of this happen? Yeah, that's a great question. We spent a long time looking for the place to site the first power plant. And what we found was a community that has a history of innovating new, clean, safe technologies, uh, a partnership with the Chelan PUD, the Public Utility District, to go build quickly so we can get this online by 2028. And so that was the perfect place for us to break ground about a month ago um, and start working on building it, where we're pouring concrete now and, and uh, steel is on site as we start building the buildings. So what do you say to the people concerned about the environmental impacts? Is there a plan for waste management? Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite parts of this. So um, what we're really excited about for this plant um, is that we've been working with state agencies, federal agencies and state agencies to make sure that these systems are really safe. Probably the most exciting part of this is, is called the SEPA, the Environmental Permit. And Helion and this fusion power plant has one of the lowest impact ratings you can have for an environmental plant, for, for environmental impact for a power plant. And so it's a very, very good first step for us to go and build this and, and prove that, that these systems are really safe. How did you get such a low rating? I, I, what are you guys doing differently specifically? Yeah, so we got what is called an MDNA, a MDNS, a Mitigated Determination of Non-Significance. Non-significance being the, the level of impact. And it's working, it's one fundamental to the technology. Uh, fusion energy, just like what happens in the sun, is safe, um, doesn't have a lot of the challenges of nuclear power. Um, and then beyond that is working with the state agencies, working with the local communities, working with the tribes to make sure that you're building a system that's, uh, that's responsible and is what the community really wants. So you mentioned that the goal is to be operating to Microsoft by 2028. I think the big question is, are you guys still on track to meet that goal? Yeah, so at Helion, we have a long track record of building working fusion systems. We started in Redmond, Washington. We moved up to Everett, Washington a few years ago, where actually behind me is our factory where we build these working fusion systems. Um, and now this, by, by beginning construction, that keeps us on target. But we got a lot of work to do to move fast, to actually build the generators here in Everett, deliver them to Malaga, Washington, and get it turned on. All right, all fascinating. I'm sure we'll be checking back in. David, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.